UNSC Report, Office of Naval Intelligence, 2221. Information about our recent dealings with the Ongoi, unofficially dubbed as grunts by some of our boys in the field, has started to make its way into the public eye. Only Section 2 should get on the situation at once. It is our opinion that the best course of action is an official announcement confirming these reports, civilian ships are starting to make contact, to at least persuade the populace while the diplomatic process should remain under wraps for the time being. Their ship design appears advanced compared to ours, made from an alloy of unknown classification. We suspect some kind of shield and energy weapon technology as well, and while relations remain cool, we have prepared new MAC defense platforms with state-of-the-art rounds that should punch through their vessels, should it be required. Only one is in service as of now, however, and more should be commissioned soon. This is of the utmost importance to the future of the UNSC. May whatever divine power there is, watch over us. End report. Hey guys, Tom from Project T here, and welcome back to Stellaris. It is 22-22, a year ago when we should have started, and we are currently expanding our space and dealing with the Ongoi, the Grunts who have we, we have reached recently encountered. Our issue with them is improving, they're not under the thumb of any profits right now. Meanwhile, we are colonizing the planet of Reach and sending battle group Sierra 3 in to dock above the planet, which we also need to improve upon. So right now it's missing a few ships, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, that'll bring up to 9, and one more, that'll bring up to 10. Which is pretty much how I want it to be before I then start improving the home fleet even further, which has four th three slip slip ah I can't speak today. Four free ship slots that I can add to it. So I'll do that now. So one, two, three four. There we go. And as we continue to build up future stations and creatures and stuff we can get more of that on the go. Meanwhile, Luis Rodriguez, level 5, is currently our president. And what are our ships doing? So, certain ship down here isn't currently doing anything because I need influence. Though influence has been gained, so you go up there to do a thing. This construction ship is sitting around. I'm investigating uh, an archaeological dig site over here, which is. Uh, a station in the middle of this gas giant, which shouldn't have to be like a giant casino where something went wrong, go figure. Got my continuing travels over here to try and expand my view of space. And something else I forgot to mention next time, last time, not next time, next time will be the future. I have the UNC Marine Corps, which is currently five armies, which includes like Marines, Warhogs, Pelicans, rocket launcher, sniper units. Which has 222 assault power right now. So I've got the startings of a proper little army on the go. I might add some Spartan ones like Johnson to it later on. No, for now it's not too necessary. I just want it above Alpha Centauri just in case things go wrong in the future. We have another archaeological dig site find. The derelict station was once known as the Star Petal and it was apparently a celebrated luxury resort in this corner of the galaxy nearly a thousand years ago, and a small fleet of tugs would drag the station to a new exotic location each year. Alpha Centauri 2 appears to have been its last. For unclear reasons, the station was pulled into the gas giant's atmosphere where it suffered critical damage. Curious. Curious indeed. Seems we have yet another update. The archaeologists working on the star petal have gathered sufficient clues and evidence to paint a reasonably clear picture of the station's final days. A stray asteroid impact to the station, knocking it into an orbit that would have plunged it into Alpha Centauri 2's atmosphere. Station keeping thrusters could not compensate, and the command staff soon issued an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the station only had enough escape pods to evacuate a fraction of its passengers, and mass panic soon erupted. 
Those who were not trampled to death perished when the station's environmental systems failed as it dr drifted deeper into the gas giant. Titanic situation. Not enough lifeboats because they thought no disaster would ever happen. And then disaster happened. Go figure. Disaster should be expected. That's what... That's why you prepare. You make preparations. You expect the worst. And hope for the best. Otherwise, well... You saw what happened there. Things did not go as planned for those people. Ooh, looky over here. We have neutral relations with them now. Plus 331. And it's cordial, so we can do a non-aggression pact, commercial pact, yes. That costs us 0 0.12 each month. Alright. Now we'll get 2 point... Yeah, we'll get energy credits from it. Sure, let's go. Confirm. Commercial pact. Awesome. And then right after that, we also get archaeological dig site, which we completed it. Rummaging through the secure safes where the wealthiest clientele stored their personal belongings has revealed a treasure trove of strange artifacts and jewellery. Perhaps the most noteworthy among the found is the Heart of the Pulsar, a unique diamond necklace quite famous in its day, having been worn by five different heads of state. Artifact found, and 4,000 credits. Ooh, it's all nice. Lovely. What does that give us exactly? So, uh, relics. No? Doesn't really give me much, does it? Still, continuing on, we, I mean, you, Romero, need to go and explore over here next. There we go. Soon, soon we'll make the attempt for the gateway. Meanwhile, I've s apparently they've nicked Parima, the cheeky shits, even though they have no connection. They also raced the bomb. The science team. Examine the borehole, judging from the wall's texture. It was carved with a powerful laser installation and appears to have reached the planet's modern core without striking any particularly useful deposit. Nearby, Katharina Brinkman located a small transmitter that has long since run out of energy. Preliminary analysis of its data bank suggests it was meant to broadcast a message on repeat, on repeat across the galaxy, bragging about reaching the planet's modern core ahead of competitors. Congratulations, probably. But yeah, I'm sending them in just to Tala. See what's going on with them. As I am most curious. See what their fleet composition is like. Mysterious domes. Further survey has revealed a large complex on the surface consisting of over a dozen collapsed domes. Structures that are at one point sealed from the rest of the planet. Excavation into the largest building and covered an elevator shaft plunging over 200 meters to the surface. Ooh. Situation log has been updated. So that gives us a new thing. Only, you aren't skilled enough, you need to complete that, hopefully. Yeah, okay. You need to finish that up. Skylar, meanwhile. You need... Let's give you one more of these. Construction completed. Keep getting that energy credit output up. Construction. You finish up here. Track on map so I don't lose track of it. Next, battle group. It needs one more load. So yeah, alright. I'm nearing the point where I'm going to make a try on that gateway. Yeah, I'm nearing a point where I'm going to make a try on it. I'm just going to make sure to finish everything that's going on in my space. The archaeological dig site over here. Finish the research of construction over here. The fleets I want to get up. Completed. There we go. You can return and be ready just in case something comes through from the Black Crown. So that could go bad. Depending on what's on the other side, I do not yet know. I mean, a space amoeba came through at one point. A faction! The Council of Religious Convertism. A religious faction. Hmm. Yeah, that, that that's not happening. You can uh you can piss right off, you guys can. And archaeological dig site, Grinner ruins. Decoded ancient data crystals have been found at the dig site chronicling the Grunner's military exploits. 
While most are local and of little interest, several volumes detail the Grinner's first encounter with any species known as the Bowel Organism. Little more can be gleaned about the Bowel at this point, save that they were massive plantoid species that had many colonies see throughout the stars. I'm tasting, keep digging. Meanwhile, finished over here. You can now research that as well. Well done. Well, I found their fleet. 800 and 700. So yeah, it's it's bigger than mine right now. I will improve. What is it? What what do they have on them? Car Uranus class. They have level one, level two, level two. So yeah, a mix of things. I'm just using level one lasers. Still, that is indeed a covenant covenant fleet. Hmm. They do have level two power react generation. Their ships, for some reason, doesn't have them. Interesting. Well, head back now. I my curiosity is satisfied. Actually, head up there so I can start building out. Lost to bureaucracy due to major cloud pa pa error. Parts of Reach have fallen behind in infrastructure maintenance and accommodation service. The people live in rather bleak conditions. Ah, it's annoying. So minus 500, minus 100. Damn you. I did that. But, ha. Ooh, Federation. More envoys and form Federation is now a thing that can happen. Hallelujah. Does, what does that mean for Barlho right now? Still minus 82. Ooh. Wolf Sphere is not so good. Oh, well, we'll get that up over time. An expedition down the shaft has revealed an entire self contained biome within a gargantuan cavern. Creatures representing at least three separate tropical planets have been catalogued so far. The system is heavily automated with multitude of specialized drones observing, maintaining, and at times culling the copula. the co compilation? <laughs> Population. Artificially maintaining the food cycle as well as the, faci the facility itself. A 37 hour day night cycle is simulated through a slow moving artificial light bar on the roof of the cavern, powered by geothermal taps buried even deep in the surface. This artificial ecosystem is estimated to be over 40,000 years old and is beginning to break down in ways all made systems cannot repair. Uh, that this facility will reach a critical failure point in the next millennium or so. Hmm. So can reverse engineer the technology or let's reverse engineer the technology. Might get some things out of that. We are being hailed. Alright, you go there. Form research agreement. Okay, sure, we'll do. And now I can form a defensive pact as well to replace the non aggression agreement we just signed. There we go, that's accepted. You watch out, we watch yours. Yay! We are allies with the grunts, this isn't Halo Cannon. Ah. Knowledge is the key to the Ooh. universe. Speaking of Corvette, speed up, build speed up, build costs down. Long swords, yes, get me some long sword fighters. Migration treaty, sure, go. That's done that. Alright, so... What are the next level? So we're going plus 289 right now. Which is still technically neutral relations. It's not green yet, which is 300 and up. Oh, minus 47. So we're getting there with it. And we're continuing to go up because of our imp Because of our envoys who are continuing to work at them. So trust is going up. Plus three improved relations a month. Yeah, it's all continuing to go up rather well. They haven't encountered anyone else yet, have they? No, they have not encountered anyone else yet. Which is worrying because huh, the moment we encounter the the kill bots, that'll be a fun day. And we've got another archaeological site pending. 
Grano ruins. Data crystal records reveal that the Grano waged war on the bowel, desiring the plentiful resources per purportedly found on their planets. A set of system coordinates has been simply extracted in to, from one such record. Archaeologists are uploading the planet's location to our systems now. Situation log has been updated. Bowel colony, huh? Situation log where... Over here. So yeah, we've already been there. Alright, research that. Uh-oh, encounter a bid. Another alien empire has just been encountered. Start researching that. Who are they? That is the question. Who will we just run into over here? It's another Covenant faction. I know that much. So it's not either the foreigners or the killbots. Which is relieving. Still, I have no idea who those people are. Which is always slightly unnerving. Just have to find out in 11 months. And then the Bowel Colony, the Baron. Despite the promise of riches suited by the ancient Grana, Dead Crystals recovered. Uh, it's a dry, barren world, void of atmosphere. Fortunately, geological scans have revealed near endless trove of fossilized remains deep in the planet's sedimentary record. Among them is a plantoid species most likely to have been the Bowel as it is the only one identified in possession of the neurological structure required for sapiens. A target excavation should... Wait, so excavation site for Romanda? Ah, but it's outside my... Yeah. No. Might be 14, no. Well, we'll have to start claiming those systems up here then as well. I'm going to start moving the UNSC Hilbert down towards Seoul, and I'm going to have the UNSC Silberg potentially go into Star Archaeological Site when the time comes. But for now, go build that Starbase. So I'm almost, almost ready, I think, to open up that thing. Oh no! <laughs> That's not a good sign. It's the banished. I bring greetings from Chieftain Atriox, the undisputed ruler of the banished. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Our warriors salute you, I suppose. That's not people I necessarily want to see. And they know someone else too. And they are supremacists, post-apocalyptic. Uh, and they know someone else. Oh boy. And more than that, reading communications with them, I have encountered the United Rebel Front. I bring greetings from Grand Marshal Harry Vijay, the undisputed ruler of the United Rebel Front. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain. War salute to you. Fellow humans. So, neutral relations right now. They're belligerent because they're xenophobic. They're currently rivaling these guys. Oh dear. So, they're wary of us. These guys know nobody else. Oh, the United Rebel Front, our own rebellious cousins, huh? That's going to be an interesting, an interesting experience. Also, Trash of the Titans. Evidently, it wants to stay in a thriving organic civilization. The remnants still cover the planet's surface in the form of endless landfill, which ref with refuse being neatly sorted into pyramids given the surface unusual formations we detected earlier. The planet does not appear to be entirely abandoned, however. Millions of automatons still operating there, in between piles and sorting through trash. It's Wally. -E. This whole thing is a reference to Wally. -E. Uh Gara Sing Intelligence as to mysterious algorithms. So as we can 
Find a way to contact them. Situation log has Let's been Let's talk updated. to Wally. Research that there. And that brings us to the end of yet another episode. Whew. Well, I mean, neighbors could have been worse, but on the other hand, we've got the brutes and our own evil counterparts over here in the United Rebel Front. Kind of a uh, sitting there. Also, broken clock. There's a halo here. There is a halo ring here. Interesting. And surrounded by shrouded worlds. Wow. Yeah, that's something. We have our first halo ring. Hmm. Well then, uh, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.